have made history even if I am removed tomorrow. At least I have answered the name of being a president. And that is the confidence that Tinumbu has been having. A lot of people before now, especially those who are now crying out, hey, he's our man, he's our this, he's our that. They know and they have been saying that say, Tinumbu can do anything just to become the president, even if it's to sacrifice the life of his people. He does not care. And when you see him go and run now, he's always talking about, I won, I won, I won. All the things that he said, oh, there was a place that he talked about uh, how he invoked a uh, spirit with ever spirit that uh, he was, he was, he was using or he used or controlling him. The same way he told us that uh, he was possessed, even saying that a uh, subsidy is gone. Subsidy is gone. That it was not part of what he was supposed to say on the inaugural day or the inauguration day in from his inaugural speech. That he wouldn't have said that, but he had to say it which was not part of what they all agreed upon. So he can sacrifice anything just to be there. And he's already there. He said he's already the president. Even if tribunal removes him tomorrow, he does not care. At least the history is there that he was once a president. And don't forget, even when they call him senator, the senator that I learned that he was a senator, it was just a few period of time. I don't think it was up to three months. But they still call him senator, senator, this and that before he became president or before he became governor. So they don't care. And I've always said it over and over again that all these guys, all they want is their status, respect their status. Whether you are hungry, don't complain. Whether you are trying to be deleted, don't complain. Whether it is good or bad, don't complain. Just be praising them or even if you don't want to praise them, just be praying to God. Oh, God will do it. God will do it. And that is that. And a lot of people are not really getting it. And when I speak with some people, they will tell you, eh, you know what? Eh, God will do it. God can use anybody. Not that they don't know that it's bad. Or the next thing they will tell you, there's no election that is perfect. Oh, there's nobody that is a saint. But at least let us filter. That is what Nigerians are talking about. Let us filter those who are bad. At least so that we have a people with a lesser baggages and a lot of people have been brainwashed and like i said the people who are causing the problems for them they always divert their attentions and be looking the other way the next thing they will blame the devil and meanwhile they will say let us go and pray but those who are stealing the country that those who are making their life miserable they will never pray they do things out of their out of you know anyhow they want they deem it fit and the Nigerian mentality, let us pray, everything will be bad. God will do it. The next thing that, oh, there's nothing anybody will do without God because God has placed him there. So then don't complain, stop complaining. The suffering you are going through today, now so God, God has destined that you are going to be suffering. So just take it like that. Take it like that. So he just wants to be president and he's a president. Even if he's removed tomorrow, mm -mm, he no consigner. Just like I said, he was the senator before he became governor. But how long was he? Did he uh, uh, stay on that position? It was not quite, you know, not, you know, quite, it's not, he didn't stay so long before he became governor. So it is the same thing. So when somebody has that kind of mentality, what do you expect him to do for the people? What do you expect him to do? He just going around bragging. He went to Ogun State now. He said that was where he invoked the spirit. That was where he declared. And it was a confirmation. So all of you are saying that is how God wants him to be. He's the one God has pleased it. Stop complaining about your suffering. Because I'm more alone. No, no, no. So God wants to make you suffer. So just the bearing like that. If you survive fine. If you don't survive. Now so God still wants to. Because when you guys are talking, you don't think... You have love all manner of sentiments which you and is known to you to be clear your sense of reasoning. Now so God God wants her. So now so God wants your suffering. No? Hypocrisy. I have never seen. Hypocrisy at its peaks among all the geopolitical zones in this country. It is there. 
when I hear people say, oh, you're bad, so they are, they are saboteurs. Hey, wait, forget to oh, saboteurs are all over the place. So when you hear this word saboteur, is it, an, is it not an English name? So those who have a word for it, even in their own language, it's happening there. It's all over the world. Maybe those are the people you are seeing, you know, exhibiting that kind of character. They say you are, they are coward, they are saboteurs. Maybe those are the people you are seeing exhibiting that. But that does not mean that uh, they are the only people in this world. We have good people who have always said it. Even uh, no matter how, what you think about the Fulani or the Aousas, you still have good people who have conscience. But maybe the ones we have been meeting, you have been coming across with, the, uh, they have such a bad uh, character and all of that. So that is why it is not good to use uh, one brush to paint everybody or to use, you know. So he has become the, the president he wanted, though. So there's nothing anybody can do about it. But if you are in the, cat the category of the people who say, oh, uh, God is the God who made a president, is the God who gives power. So it is the same God that tells you that uh, you are going to be suffering under them, irrespective of the policies they are going to be making. So just accept it like that. When I hear people say, oh, it is politics, it's all about politics, when they want to justify evil. Oh, it's all about politics. Eh? So let us leave it now. It is politics now. Whatever that comes your way, take it like that. But the same people now say, oh, God did not say I'm going to suffer. You now see those Christians, who, they will not say, oh, the thought that God has for me is for good. You know, for me to have an expected and this and this and this and that. They will not, they want to deviate from that. But when they see somebody who is causing problem to their lives, they will not be telling that you that, hey, now God make a king, now God make a that. There are some things that God will just be looking at. You just go and, go and test your popularity. Then when you are done, you see come and be calling on that same God. Oh, God is a principal God. That I know. So, guys, uh, let's hear your opinion and have your take on what said Tinubu has said. That even if he's being removed tomorrow, he's not the president. He has become the president. The name will be on him.